Greetings. Today we're going to go into how to use the Safex wallet. I'm going to show you how to download it and uh, let's get started. So the first thing that I do is I go to safex.io to the main website of Safex. And let it load. Next thing I'm going to want to do is hit this downloads page or downloads button right here. I'm going to choose OSX because I'm on a Macintosh. So I'm going to go ahead and click and it's going to start downloading down here. And if you're on Windows, you'd pick Windows. If you're on Linux, you'd pick the Linux version. And um, you know, you know, while you wait, you could see some other info about the SafeX project and um, you could also download it from the middle of the page. Um, there's also a section with these instructional videos. There's a uh, place where you can make new uh, SafeX keys and Bitcoin keys. You can contact us, join the Slack, join the forum, check out our Twitter, uh, the forum. And also you can buy SafeX coins from, well, like through the website. And you can make a new key or send to a key you already own. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like our wallet download just finished. So I'm going to click that and open up the SafeX wallet. Still kind of finishing up here. There it is. OK. So it's now opening the SafeX wallet version 2. I'm going to close this and focus on the wallet itself. So it'll show you something like this. This is like any other program on Macintosh. You can drag and drop it into the Applications folder. And now you'll be able to see and access the um, SafeX Wallet application anytime from your Macintosh computer. This will be different if you're on Ubuntu or on Windows, but not much different. So once it's there, you can double click it and it'll launch the SafeX wallet application. This is gonna just tell me, you know, are you sure you wanna open it? Yes, I wanna open it. And here we are. So we have two options, import wallet, which we'll go into later. And then right now we're gonna go with new wallet. So I'm gonna click new wallet and enter a password. So when you pick a password, uh, first of all, you should write it down because if you forget the password in the future, there's no recovery from there. So you should enter a password that is also strong because if someone gets a hold of this, this file, the wallet file, they can crack it open. So the longer the password, the stronger the encryption, but also write it down somewhere because if you lose your password, there is no recovery. Write it down, keep it safe. I'm going to hit create. And the first thing that you see, you know, is red, uh, those red dots is saying, you know, it's not connected and it said loading here. And now it says synchronized and these dots turned green. That means we've connected to our Bitcoin node, our SafeX node, and it's indicating we're synchronized. In the top right, we have the price of SafeX right now versus the dollar and the price of Bitcoin right now versus, versus the dollar as well. And the first thing that's created is one uh, Bitcoin address which is also used for SafeX coins. So if I wanted another key, I could hit this button called Create Key, and it'll say Key Added to Wallet. Click OK. And here we go again. We have another key. There's this, this um, entry bar, which is connected with Import Key. So we'll go into this soon. Is if you put a private key here, you could right click and click Paste. Uh, you could paste in a new private key. And then there's this wheel, this uh, cog wheel that has resetting the password, exporting encrypted wallet files. So these you can import them in the, in the main screen from before. And this one is export unencrypted keys, which you can copy the private keys and put them into a new wallet. And of course, log out. We'll go into those features soon. And then of course, there's this refresh button, which you would use every three minutes, you can refresh this screen and it'll go and check what your balances are uh, if you if you are expecting an incoming transaction or 
um, just if you want to refresh and just see what your balance is, if they updated, etc. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to import a new key and show you how to send SafeX. So I have a few keys here. So you'll see this uh, file. This is what an unencrypted backup looks like. Unencrypted meaning you see this right here in this private key, this number right here that's highlighted. That is a private key and behind it there's money. So I'm going to right click copy it and I'm going to right click paste into this field. And I'm going to click import key and boom, it added it to the wallet. And if you see the public key, this is the address. This is where you send money to. They match with the one that got into the wallet. So the wallet is storing this bigger key, the private key, which corresponds to the public key where the money goes to. And this private key controls the money. So if you're watching this video and you saw this before I moved this 250 coins off, it's 250 SafeX, you can steal them from me. So what I'm going to demonstrate right here is sending to this address right here above these 250 SafeX coins. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to double click, right click, copy. Then I'm going to hit send and it's going to give me this drop down and it gives me the option to select my currency, SafeX coins or Bitcoins. You see, so you can use these addresses are the same for the Bitcoin blockchain. So you can use SafeX coins the same way you're using Bitcoins, meaning you could send them to the same kind of address. So I'm copying where I want to send them to. So this address and I'm putting it in the to address field and I'm right clicking and hitting copy and, and right clicking and hitting paste. I have SafeX selected. Now SafeX coins exist inside the Bitcoin blockchain, which means that they require a Bitcoin fee the same way Bitcoins require a Bitcoin fee, so do SafeX coins. So you have these options, fast, medium, and slow. The fast is the recommended uh, amount of, of Bitcoins in the fee, which means that the coins are guaranteed to come in on the next block. If you choose medium or slow, you're, you're playing with the chance that maybe other people put higher fees for the next block which is like every 10 minutes, there's a Bitcoin block. So if you choose medium or slow, you're playing with the chance that your, your transaction won't be included right away. So I'm gonna, for this demonstration, I'm gonna definitely choose fast, but slow is probably like a 60% chance that you're in the next block or very close. Medium is like a 75% or so chance that you're gonna be in the next block or very, very, very close to the next one. And fast, of course, is, you know, you're in the next block and it's very strange if you didn't get in the next block. Okay, so we're about to send it. I'm just gonna double check this address, 1DAF2K, 1DAF2K. Okay, it looks good. I'm gonna hit send. And now I get this confirm screen. It says I'm sending the currency SafeX coins from, this is my address, to, this is the destination, 250. Here's how much fee I'm gonna have. And the total is 250 SafeX. Hit confirm and it says pending. So it's sending out the transaction and we're confirmed. And the confirmation is with the transaction ID and it says sent. So I'm gonna close that and, uh, and then my balance is refreshed and it said, okay, we're pending minus 250 here, pending plus 250 here, pending minus the fee amount from my Bitcoins and pending plus this 2,730 Satoshis. The reason there's this small amount of Bitcoins being sent to here is because the SafeX coins exist inside of a Bitcoin transaction, which means we need to send a tiny bit of Bitcoins so that the miners will include this transaction and validate it with the special payload that holds the SafeX coin balance. Okay, so the other point is you'll see that I can't send again right now. This is because I have a pending minus. When the way Bitcoin works is it takes your previous transactions and uses them in a new transaction. So if you have outgoing transactions, there's a possibility that you don't have any previous transactions remaining until your coins are returned to you because there's a, this change that happens. Like if I send, if I send one Bitcoin and I had one Bitcoin, uh, so if I want to send you half a Bitcoin and I have one Bitcoin, I send you half 
and the other half I send back to myself. So that other half that sends back to myself could take till the next block. So we first have to wait for this transaction to be confirmed before we get the change back, which lets us do further transactions. So that's why you're not going to be able to send more than one time at a time, more than one transaction at a time, basically. So because this one is receiving, it's able to send because it still has, if it had a balance, it would still be able to send, but then it would get locked until the block clears. So it's just pretty basic operation of Bitcoin. Now, next thing, so we went over how to import a private key, basically copy the private key, paste it into the import key, um, and we went over how to send SafeX coins. Bitcoin is literally the same procedure, except you use the Bitcoin. You, you hit the Bitcoin um, in your currency selection. Next thing that I want to do is now go over this import and exporting feature. So I'm going to hit that cogwheel and I'm going to export encrypted. Now, this will export an encrypted file that is your SafeX wallet. You use this file to import it into another wallet for, for use it requires a password and if you lose the password your precious coins may be irrecoverable so this is pulling out the key the wallet file that's password protected so very very important detail that it's password protected um i'm actually going to save it to my documents and um rather to i'll save it to my downloads and um and then I'm going to export the unencrypted keys. And it's a, this will create a file where you can see your private keys. So that file will look exactly like this. You can see the title says unsafex. That's because if someone gets a hold of this file, it's unencrypted, and they could copy your keys and control your money. So you got to keep it very safe. And um, well, this file is not for importing in the main page. It is for showing you private keys, which you can bring into a new wallet you import keys using the import key feature in another wallet. So we're going to go through that procedure right now. I'm going to save that to downloads as well. And um, I'm going to log out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the import wallet. So um, I'm going to hit import wallet. I'm going to hit this arrow button and go to my downloads. And you see this safex wallet.dat. I'm going to double click this and type in my password import and voila we have the wallet that we had from before i'm going to log out and now i'm going to do so this right here wallet reset may as well be called wallet destroy so for the demonstration of the features and how everything works you see how right now we could log back in to our old wallet i'm going to log out now we're going to destroy that wallet that we made so I hit wallet reset, it says proceed with caution. This process will delete your existing wallet. And it says it again, proceed with caution. Now, in the first step, you can skip this step because it exports your unencrypted keys. But we're going to proceed, we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're saving our unencrypted keys and mandatorily, we're going to save our encrypted wallet file. I understand that this is my only chance. If I, di if I didn't, save this or I didn't pay attention, I could delete my wallet and never recover it. So this is a feature. This is not necessary. I'm just demonstrating a feature in case you wanted to wipe out your wallet and start fresh. Okay, so I saved that and, and it's done. Our wallet is gone. So now instead of login, I have what we started with, which is new wallet. I can go ahead. Let's say I didn't want to make a new wallet. I can use the import feature I can bring up that SafeX wallet file, SafeX wallet dot dat. I can bring that back in, type in my password, and I'm back to where I started. However, another way I can do things, I can create a new wallet, type in a new password, because we destroyed the old one. Now I have an, an empty wallet and the default one address. However, what, I, what I'm going to do now is go to my downloads and open my unsafex. So these are the three keys that we had from before. And what I can do now is copy the private key and import that key to my new wallet. And I could see the balances that I had from before. This should be pretty familiar to you where we had the minus 250 plus 250 now. So 
uh, in a nutshell, this is everything you can do with the wallet. Besides, one thing I didn't talk about was you can reset your password from your old password to and make a new password. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. There's, that's the SafeX wallet. Have a nice day.